again. Yeah. Yep. You know. Um, especially now during these quarantine times, I, me and my roommates were looking into adopting a dog, like fostering a dog during this time. But all the kennels, everything is like cleared out. There are no dogs up for no. fostering yeah. or adoption right now, which is great. So hopefully people great. keep them um, and take good care of them. Absolutely. But, so, okay, we did, we did the – coming down from the Buddha, we, again, took this rickety cable car – it was a it was a good ride too. It was a it took us a minute to get to and from the spot. Beautiful sights because we were just going through like you said rural this rural area, just crazy hillsides and gorgeous, um, gorgeous. But the the so the the second thing this is the third thing that we did, which I thought you were joking. Um, we tried to go to the horse track. Do you remember? <laughs> There's a horse track <laughs> that we walked around. And, yeah, I and, love um, to gamble. So, and you were ready to go anything. gamble. Yeah. So, the thing about that is, um, what's the neighbor to Hong Kong right across the bay with all the Macau? gambling? Macau. So Chinese, <laughs> Asians love gambling. <laughs> okay, that's a. Uh, uh, well, I mean, they do, but we all do, and I do especially. So I wanted to find. Was it a horse track or a dog track? It was a horse track. It was a the horse track. track. Was yeah. it not in operation that day? I don't remember betting. Yeah, there was. Yeah, it was not in operation that day. Um, that was, I don't know. It was, it was just some random, random day. I think you saw that there was a horse track. You're like, maybe there'll be a race, but it was probably like a like a Thursday afternoon or something, like some yeah. weird day that that didn't didn't seem suitable for a, a horse race. But um, I remember. They, it, it turns into a park when there are no horses out there. So, oh my God, I know what you're talking about. You yeah. remember now? We we walked yeah, yeah. we walked the track, and in the middle of like like the green area in the like the, the center. What do you know? What the center part of the the racetrack is? There's a specific name for it, I think. Right? The pitch. Is it the pitch? Okay, down the pitch there there are a bunch of kids playing soccer, rugby, frisbee, whatever. Um, football. Football. There's a yeah. It was just kind of like a a public space when it wasn't yeah. being used for, for horses. Or uh, public so vloggings. A... <laughs> uh, I'm going to fact check that. <laughs> Can we get a fact check? Can we get a fact check real quick? Um, so took a stroll around uh, the horse track. I think we, because we were expecting to be there for a little bit, we had to pull an audible. So then we decided to go grab some food first um, and then this was, I think this was my, this was the last thing actually that you had on the day is, which was the pub crawl. You yes. remember the pub crawl? Yeah. Oh boy, do I. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let you, I'll let you go first because I, um, I did not enjoy my experience initially. It turned out to be fun, but yes. I had, uh, I, I was, a. Uh, I was one of those American tourists for a hot second that I didn't want to be. Well, you had a point, and I will get to that point right now. Um, so it doesn't matter <laughs> if you drink or not. Pub crawls are just a great way to meet people. So one of the best things about traveling is meeting people, especially other travelers who are just, you know, it, exchanging ideas of what we should do today or tomorrow, and you can't miss that. I mean, that's how we – all of our good stories have, have come from other people and – ideas of where to go so yep. you know shower up head out hit the pub crawl <laughs> which a pub crawl in hong kong i mean that sounds like a good time to me <laughs> so we get there and start chatting it up with people like where you i mean where are you from what are you doing here why i mean hong kong that's weird uh, plenty of aussies always plenty of germans always uh and you know i'm having beers you're just hanging in there drinking water and i appreciate you doing that Yep. Uh, I think the second bar in, this guy comes over to us, and he's like, uh, all right, uh, you guys, uh, you're on the wristband. you got to pay. And uh, we're like, what, what do you mean? Um, I think it was like 10 bucks, 15, or maybe 20. Yeah, yeah, I don't American, remember. let's say. Yeah. Uh, to just like for this guy who had set the whole thing up. And I'm like, okay, here's 20, because, you know, I'm in there. 
and then you go, and this is my favorite thing of all time. You're like, well, I'm actually not drinking. Then he goes, yeah, but are you, are you on the crawl? And you're like, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm with everybody. He goes, well, then you have to pay. And you're like, well, I don't want any tickets. I don't. I'll pay for my own entry to these bars or clubs or whatever. Uh, I, I'm with everyone, but I'm not with, you know, I'm not going to pay. And the guy goes, you got to pay. You got to pay. And he goes, well, that's funny because I'm not. <laughs> and this skirmish goes off. I don't remember. I think you paid. I Just ended because, up paying. I think I because up- you, uh, it was, it was, this guy was making it such a big deal. Oh, such a big, so I do remember we had an exchange at some point. He was like, you know, you can't get into a baseball game if you don't pay. I'm like, yeah, but you, I was like, that makes sense. Sure. I wouldn't but this try is to a argue public that bar. Point. But I'm like, I'm, you're asking me to pay to be in a place that's free to be in. He's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. He's like, yeah, but I'm a small business owner. I'm like, but you don't own, you don't any own a these, business. You don't, I mean, you don't like, you don't own any of these bars. It's like, yeah, I but I could I've struck see up, both sides. I was uh, like, dude, like you, you struck up the special deal with these bars to get discounted drinks. I'm like, cool. I'm not going to participate in that. I'm just here drinking water right. with my friends. <laughs> right. So, uh, it, and I think, I think, I think what it was is you did make a special deal with them. I'm like, here, I'll give you five. No, fuck off. That kind of thing. Yeah. It was, it was definitely like, I was I was not happy about having to pay to be in a place and not participate no. in anything. I was, and I, you I, being I not happy it. made me so happy. Like I'm one of a, <laughs> I'm, I'm such a bad friend to where when my other friends get in trouble or oh. finishes, I'm like, oh, give me the popcorn. This is gonna be great. Yeah, I love watching yeah. that shit. It's my favorite. And it's I mean, it's only because of the skirmish that we have the story right now. Right, right. And it, it ended up being okay. I like. I had that interaction. It was, yeah, probably two or three pubs in. Ended up having that interaction. Like, all right, guy, here's your money. Leave me alone. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Like, I, yeah. I gave you money for nothing. I hope you're happy. Leave me alone. Right. Um, but I mean, it we, ended up, yeah, yeah it, it, was, it was, so, like, that argument went on for a very long time. And I understand <laughs> where, he was, where he was coming from, but. It was great. I, it was great. Because he kept saying, like, you would pay to get inside, a, inside an event. I'm like, yeah, but. I, it's a I public event. I, I can't. I can't get into a, a a baseball game, basketball game, if I don't pay. Like you're asking Correct. me to pay to go inside a bar when there are other people here that aren't part of the pub crawl, that are just in having their own drinks, which was Correct. another like like you you you. It doesn't make any sense to me, but uh, it's neither here nor there. So, well, it's, it's here. Yeah, and and, and, and there, there. Um, <laughs> uh, but it ended up being a really really fun night. Now that I great, remember, great like, night. Met some girls, we, and uh, we'll leave it at that. And, we uh, had that sounds this is a little suspicious, but yeah, no, it was fun. We so we we had, we hit there's like three or four pubs, right? Um, yeah, three or four. They pubs. were all the the majority of them were like Seven. rooftop or some sort of like garden like there was some sort of balcony so everyone had a good view and they granted this dude did his research he found some good places where there were a lot of like it it was they weren't dingy or divey or necessarily they were kind of nicer um for whatever that means which is kind of campy really a lot of neon <laughs> um right what's the campy that's, that's chicago slang what is that again campy yeah just like 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 touristy almost ah yes that's what it is you know, like, it's like similar, not, not necessarily synonymous, but very similar. Um, but yeah, very, very like, like a cliche bar that like, you just find a lot of neon. What, 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 what tourists would perceive to think is cool, but actually really isn't. Right. Right. You know, super campy. Yeah. Super campy. So, uh, we had a good time. We ended up, at a club, I don't remember much remember about that. this. Okay, can you take it from here? Because I don't remember. The club was called Magnum. <laughs> I don't yeah. remember much other than that. And, and it was me huge. Being, and me being, me being completely sober. I, 
I was having a hard time keeping up because I just started getting tired. Right. So I don't. Must have been I don't know. Morning. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh, I don't know. It's your typical club. The fucking you know, four in the floor, music pumping, lasers yeah. and fog, that kind of shit. I don't know. I never really been into that kind of stuff. I think that's when we called it after that. Like, all right, that's it. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. Because we had the next, the next day we had, B, hey, hit me. <laughs> we had a, a nice long hike. Yeah, and a, a few other events that happened throughout the day, <laughs> um, but this hike again. So at this point, we're tracking our steps. We got pretty good at you know guesstimating, you know throughout the day. Like oh, I bet we're around ten thousand steps, around fifteen, seventeen thousand steps. Um, a lot. And we, we we did we got really good with guessing guessing our step count. And this was one of the days with the bigger step counts, for sure. So we walked so far to get to the trailhead we had to take it take the subway to take get the subway to... which i love about hong kong you can take the subway right to the edge of the city and then when the city ends nature begins like it's immediate which i love yeah it's pretty amazing and <laughs> this was i do remember this being a, a weird situation so we got off the subway walked around for a little bit we had to go through this massive like tiered graveyard do you graveyard yep. it, was, it was oh yeah so so bizarre it was like steep um, Super steep. Uh, they had to. That was that, that was even part of the hike. I just remember trying to get to the top. That I was pretty. I mean, exhausted. wasn't it? Wasn't it though? It was. I mean, there's a reason why they stopped the city at that point because the ridge of that mountain was so goddamn steep. Yeah, uh, it was. Yeah, it was crazy. So yeah, we had to hoof it up the side of that mountain, and it was a huge graveyard on the way. Uh, yep. Who'd have known? So many people had died in the history of the world, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we got, I, I, th I think we might've actually taken a wrong turn because we were supposed to do the dragon's back or the dragon's tail or something, but yeah, we dragon's ended, back. we, we ended up on some, whatever it was, uh, we ended up on a really, really cool hike, um, on our way, we ended up, what well, we did, we doubled back is what it did. We went, we went the wrong way, hit a lookout and then we had to turn around and come back. But on the way out there, um, Nature was calling for you, and you had to hustle off into the bushes. Oh, man, did um, I? Yeah, yeah. So uh, you're ahead of me. I'm like, Jordy, I got to handle this. So yeah. I you pull snag my, some, pull you my snag man some, card out. Yep. I go, here's my man card. I'm about to man up. Uh, so I go off the trail not too far. Handled business, right? And as I'm handling, there's, like, another group of hikers like wild animals they could smell like <laughs> something going on they're like what is that oh, like they couldn't man. quite put their finger in it like they they're like what something's something's awry here um and so i'm sitting like 10 feet back just wishing and praying that i had gone further into the brush but i'm <laughs> visible like i'm if you looked you could see me i i saw you i could see you your head saw. poking up yeah poking up out of the bushes i'm cracking up because i hear oh, these yeah. tourists coming yeah uh. so i I don't think they ever saw me, but I was, you got to imagine being like right in the middle of handling business and then being like, oh, I got to be a statue now because they're going to see me. Right <laughs> <laughs> oh, such a good, such a good time. Uh, so I, I do remember you, like you snagged some, some sheets from my notebook and I need some paper. So That's right. you up with that and then, you, and then you hustled off, took care of your business and I'm dying laughing as I yeah. hear these tourists coming, because they were coming from where we were going to. So I heard them, I think, bef maybe before you knew that they were coming. But I remember hearing them like, ah, this is going to be so great. <laughs> I can't wait <laughs> yeah, good. See, to see what happens. Things. Perfect. <laughs> it's all good. That's why we work so yeah. well together. If your friends 